paint today. I'm very excited to be bringing you a new Studio Monday video and today we're going to be creating a fun pop-up surprise card. These cards are also known as explosion cards and when you open up the card there's a really cool pop-up paper folded piece that opens up that we'll be able to write notes on to so when you go ahead and write out your card the note that you'll end up putting onto the card would be on that pop-up piece so it's really really fun and a great interactive design. I'm going to be using products from My Favorite Things today to create these cards as well as some new stamps from Simon Says Stamp. So here's a couple of the products that I'm going to be using today. We've got the Hog Heaven stamp set from My Favorite Things. These pigs are so adorable. We're going to be using the one with the heart. I've also got the Love and Quotes stamp set and also this Love Is background stamp. Both of these are from Simon Says Stamp's newest release, Hey Love. We're going to need a piece of patterned paper. And I'm using the Love Is background that I'm going to be stamping onto the back side of the patterned paper. If you're going to be using double-sided printed paper, you're going to want to make sure that the pattern that is on the inside is a light pattern because this is where you're going to be doing all your writing on. So for this particular one, I'm using a white background and I'm just going to do a little bit of light stamping on the back side just to go ahead and give it some color and dress it up a little bit. I'm going to use some of the hearts from the Love and Quote stamp set and stamp those on top of that text background that I created. I used a light pink ink for the text background and now I'm using a variety of ink colors that match the pattern papers that I'm going to be using here. So I've got some blues, oranges, reds, purples, pinks, and they're all colors that are kind of valentine-y. They're very bright and happy and just really, really cute colors. This paper is 6x6, six six, so you can use any type of 6x6 six six pattern papers for this technique. The finished card that we'll be creating is 3.5 inches square. So here is our inside panel. This is the piece that we're going to now fold to create the fun pop-up element. So you want to take the corners and you want to create a triangle and fold that down so that way you have a nice crease. I'm going to use a bone folder to go ahead and make sure I get these creased really well. You want to go ahead and create a triangle with the paper and you're going to want to open it up and create a triangle on the other side of the paper. So we have an X basically that will be going through the middle of the cardstock. This is what's going to help us create the folds that will end up popping the panel up once we're finished with all the folding. So after I've gone ahead and folded the paper to create those two triangles, so I'm going to go ahead and fold this paper in half lengthwise, making sure I get a nice good crease. You want to make sure that you crease your paper really well when you're doing these folds because this is what's going to help it fold up into your card a little bit better. If they're not creased really well, it's going to be a lot more bulky inside your card. After I've gone ahead and done my creasing, you want to go ahead and tuck the two triangles inside. So by inverting the two areas, we create a nice even triangle that does not have any creases on it because all the creases are now tucked inside. And now I'm going to bring over the sides of the triangle and meet that up into the center area. If you're familiar with origami, you'll find this really easy to do and very similar to origami. This technique is so simple that kids could do this too. You just need to show them the steps and show them exactly which folds they need to make. But once you get the hang of it, I was able to create all of these very quickly. I created a total of three and they were so much fun. So I went ahead and folded over the sides of my triangles on both sides. So I folded over the triangle on the first layer and then flipped it around to the other side of the paper and I folded those sides over. So now you can see we have triangles on both sides of this paper and now we're going to go ahead and invert those like we did for the first triangle. So as I fold those in, you can see we're tucking those inside of the paper here. And this is what's going to create the pop-up piece. So after I've gone ahead and folded those, I'm going to go ahead and press them down really good, make sure everything's nice and creased. And then you can see how this creates a really fun pop-up piece. It opens up really, really cool. And it's such a fun and interactive card that I think kids both get a kick out of and adults alike. I think it's a really fun technique. So now I want to create a card that will coordinate with it on the outside. So I'm stamping onto a three and a half inch square card base. And I'm doing the same exact technique by stamping the text background onto the white cardstock. And now I'm taking the hearts and stamping these all around the background. Once I went ahead and created my card base, I'm now taking the Hog Heaven stamp set and I stamped the little pigs onto a piece of watercolor paper. This is Strathmore Bristol Smooth Paper. And I'm just going to go quickly color these little pigs with a T-Rose Zig Marker and also Carmine Red. It was very simple shading. I get, didn't get very detailed with it. And I'm going to go ahead and pop this up onto my card. I added some stitching details using a My Favorite Things border die. And I also heat embossed the Hog Heaven Sentiment onto a piece of sea glass cardstock from Simon Says Stamp. 
pop that up onto my card, and now I'm tucking the pig underneath of that little sentiment banner. For some detail on the pig, I went over his eyes with the black Sakura glaze pen. I also used the Signa white gel pen to go ahead and add some white dot detail to his cheeks and also to his body. I just think it really adds a little bit of decorative element to the pig. Finally, I added some sparkle and shine using the Spectrum Noir shimmer pen. This just adds a nice bit of shimmer and shine to the heart. And now it's time to put the entire card together. So we've got our little pop-up element here. And we're going to now go ahead and layer this inside of our card. So I'm going to take some ATG adhesive and I'm going to run this along the edges of this pop-up element. You want to put the adhesive on all four sides. And now I'm going to line up that point with the center fold of our card base. I'm going to press that down really well. Now bear in mind my head's in the way here because I was trying to line this up. But you just want to make sure you get that point lined up right there along the center fold line. Now we're going to go ahead and add ATG adhesive to the other side of our pop-up element. And when you open up the card, you get this great pop-up piece that is so much fun. So it's really cool. It creates a nice surprise for someone that you're giving this card to. Perfect for Valentine's Day or just for sending as a quick love you card. Now bear in mind, you can make these pop-up elements in any size you like. You just want to make sure your paper is square, but you can make it as big or as small as you like just by changing the size of the square. So before I go, I just want to show you here how fun these are and how you can create them in so many different colors and designs. I used a variety of pattern papers and I also did some fun stamping on the inside. Just really, really fun cards. I think this would be so much fun to give for kids for Valentine's Day. So I hope this has given you some inspiration on doing some fun paper folding to create some pop-up cards. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And head on over to the Simon Says Stamp blog where you can get more information on these cards, including still pictures and products used. Please give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and you can connect with us on social media at Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, as well as our blog. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye!